If you are a programmer, a hardcore coder, and you love writing code, then in this era of AI, how you can transition from the development of any software to writing AI code or coding from AI, uh, whatever it is. But basically, I'm going to tell you what are the AI career path you are going to have as a programmer. So let's start this video. Welcome to Bitfumes. I'm your host Sarthak and you are going to get awesome career path in the world of this AI. AI is booming every day with amazing amazing models and open source of these models has made a real revolution in industry. So what you're waiting for? You need to catch up with the latest trend and it's not actually the trend just it's real the world is experiencing. So we have a real career path or career option you want to choose as a programmer so let's get into this mirror board first of all you can see as a programmer you can get into four different fields AI core development then AI application development which we love as a programmer then strategy and management where you don't have to write code at all and also the AI infrastructure and support hmm, here maybe you will going to write the code but not that much as you are going to write in application development now core AI is more of machine learning engineer data science science and AI research scientists. You can feel with this that here a lot of research is happening. So if you have a research mindset, if you want to get into the real innovation field, then get into the core AI development where you can get into the data scientist where you are going to deal with the data, how that data will be cleaned, how that data will be, uh, you can say, used for your AI model, a lot of things. Then AI research scientist, obviously, you are going to research on different, different kind of AI models models and how they are going to impact and what are the need of the AI models and machine learning obviously the foundation of AI and that's again a real thing. But make sure you will go in this area only if you have a strong programming knowledge plus you have a strong mathematical knowledge because AI is all about maths at the end after we have the programming. So that means you need to have a real knowledge of math and you should not worry about uh, learning and uh, uh, expanding your mathematics knowledge so that's the important thing next obviously the application development but i will get into this at the last so let's get with the ai strategy and management so in the ai strategy and management see this is obviously not at all require any kind of coding but you should have the knowledge of how ai work what is the ai thing going to do and how this is going to impact the world what are the constraints what are the compliances out there so according to these things you have three again options to go into one is ai consultant ai consultant obviously going to consult about what kind of ai model you should use for your uh, company for your data for your website or whatever you are having and as a consultant you are always going to give some knowledge some really trendy thing to your customer that hey this is really trending you should have it and at the same time as a consultant you are going to tell your customer that hey using this AI is really really security deficient that means you need to work on your security or you should use it or not something like that so it's all about giving the knowledge about the AI next is product manager as a name suggests product manager is having some AI product which you should showcase to your customer in that case you should have deep knowledge of your product how it work and how it solve the business problem of your customer again in this case you need Need to know deep knowledge of your product but not how that model is created where that model is used and some of the real depth knowledge of AI you don't need so as a product manager your responsibility is to deal with your customer and obviously the team you have so that the team can deliver the feature your customer required. Finally, we have ethics and policy specialists. You know, AI is in its initial stage. That means it can do some of things really wrong. We have seen that how Google has created some black people for the Americans and ChatGPT has revealed some of the secrets of big companies. These things are not going to be happen in the future is the responsibility of ethics and policy specialists. So as an ethics and policy specialist, you must know all the laws, rules and compliances of every country 
country what's trending and how it's impacting the society and your customer so all these things comes under ethics and policy specialist next is infrastructure and support in that you have really amazing things as a programmer you're going to enjoy this field because here you can do a little bit of programming so as a QA engineer AI QA engineer you must have some knowledge of a testing framework especially for AI just like TensorFlow extended ML flow these are the frameworks which you can use to become the AI quality assurance engineer that means you're going to make sure that your AI model is doing or your AI product is doing whatever it is intended and not doing some extra thing and something wrong next is AI system architect that means your AI model should be on the cloud and the security of the cloud how it can be deployed how it can be used everything you need to have in this role that means as a system architect you can also call this as a ML op or AI operation kind of thing you are responsible for taking that model and making it live and available to everyone and finally we have the AI trainer and annotator that means as an AI trainer or annotator you are going to spread the knowledge of your AI tool or AI model and then you can also have some technical thing of writing the technical blocks maybe documentation creating the videos a lot of things that comes under the training but just for the AI model and AI tool and in this case you need to have the knowledge of the AI as well as the programming but now comes the real powerful thing for the programmers which is AI application development hmm. as a programmer we love application development and for that you can go into the AI software development as I told you there are a lot of tools emerging with the power of AI so you can become a software developer who can use the AI technology to enhance tool or any website that's really really powerful and which is happening every day now every application is integrated with AI so it's really a simple straightforward path for you but at the same time what if you really want to get into the natural language processing we have seen the large language models so language model if you want to get into that and you want to use them then you can get into the natural language processing engineer where you are going to refine the large language models or create your own model from scratch but just for the language that means for the communication or chatting then you can also become the computer vision engineer so basically you are going to use the AI for the vision technology that means reading the information about the image so if you have an image you want to see which cat it is and which dog it is which animal it is which plant it is who is sleeping who is not basically reading about the information inside of your image and also at a large scale you can also read anything inside any video finally comes to the robotics engineer so it's a little deviated but I have put it inside this application development because if you create application for web or mobile application you can also become application developer for robots okay so robots are everywhere and nowadays we have seen that many companies have started using the robots in their companies has started building the robots like Tesla we know about the Honda and many more and these robots required the software and if they are integrated with the AI that means you need an AI application developer or AI software developer so these things are really really powerful and if you want to get into the AI thing then you must follow career path which is suitable for you according to your knowledge according to your interest and passion so let me know in the comment section which one you want to become and if you have specific request to create videos about any of these topics let me know in the comment section comment section is open for you and you know what creating these kind of video creating this mind map is a time consuming thing I'm not asking you for any money I just want that if you are getting something insightful from this video just hit that subscribe button and obviously don't forget to like this video so that this video will reach to many people who can start their career in AI so at the last I just want to say that get into the AI and if you have any request let me know in the comment section see you in the next video till then Jai Hind